Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, and it's a cool one, is the amazing obscure wipe transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. I had this request um, quite a while ago for this uh, tutorial. One of the issues with trying to show this is you got to have the right footage. And it took me a while to find the right footage. I was actually going to go out and shoot it, but I found something that does the job. The bottom line is this is a cool transition. Don't overuse this, by the way. It's a cool transition to use when you want to make an impactful change from one clip to another. Let's have a look. I'll show you two different versions. Here's a version using a mask. Let me go to full screen, play this back. Boom, we're into the new scene. And this one uses an object that shows in the front. Okay, let's look at the mask version first. So as we advance along this clip, you'll see someone walking along and the front of them is showing the current clip but behind them is the new clip. That's the clip that's below. So if I turn the top video track off, you can see that's my bottom track. Go back to the top track and I'm gonna turn off the effect and just show you what the clip is. There it is. That's the original clip. Somebody walks by. Now you'll notice that they cover the frame from top to bottom. That is essential. If they were halfway through the frame, it wouldn't work because you, you couldn't transition the full frame. You're wiping from one to another. So whatever is obscuring the frame has to go from the complete top to the bottom. And somebody walking in front is perfect. This is done so many times uh, with something a lot easier than, I mean, I had to mask this out. Uh, if something like a, a vehicle, a truck, a big box truck, a lorry going by, you're just, you're basically masking out a straight line from one side to the other. That's a lot easier. Let me show you all the frames I had to create for this one. And I, I could have done a better job for, for this tutorial. I just put it together pretty quick. So I'll select it and twirl down the opacity setting in the effects controls. And you'll see some effects, uh, see the opacity and then some masks. And as soon as you click on one of these, and I tr chose the free draw Bezier, is I started drawing that mask around here and I had to manually draw every single keyframe. And because he's slightly out of focus, I feathered that of 13 pixels. So you can see you can feather that more if you want but I left that at 13 pixels. If we zoom in to my uh, frames here, you can see how many frames I had to draw by hand. You cannot track this in Premiere Pro. So if we zoom out a little bit, you'll actually see what's happening. So the whole right hand side of this frame is just a rectangular box and I'm just cutting off the back area. If I turn off the other frame, and you can see it's leaving a hole behind it. And that hole is the second frame that's there. So you have to also remember when you're drawing your very first frame, all the way to the end here, the very first frame you need to click on that button to create a keyframe for the mask path. If you don't do that and you work on this for an hour, every bit of your work is gone. Everybody does that once. Make sure you click on the first one, you add a keyframe. Now, every time you go and adjust a little bit of that mask, it's going to add another keyframe and you can go back as many times as you want and, and uh, go and tweak that. But that's the bottom line. Uh, to reselect your mask, you can see when I've got opacity selected, you can't see the mask. You need to click where the name of the mask is, and then you can see it. And that's really all this is, is he moves from one side to another and just wipes from that side. And we turn that back on. 
deselect it so we don't see the mask. Now when I play that, there's our obscure wipe transition. Pretty cool. Uh, it does make sense when you're doing an obscure wipe transition to actually the second clip have something different. The, the, the clip here actually has depth and someone's moving through the scene. So it helps to make the, the clip you're moving from different from the move moving to. Now the other one um, also has its challenges. And with this one, I've got a tree moving in the front. You know what that tree is? It's a Photoshop file with the background cut out. That's all that is. And I have a bit of a fast blur on that. Why did I blur it here and not in Photoshop? Because I'm not sure how much I want to blur it. I'm trying to match a fake depth of field in this um, particular scene. If I did it in Photoshop, it would be hard to undo it or I'd have to make a, um, a smart object and, and all of that stuff. Instead, a simple fast blur in here and I can turn that up and down. Let me turn the tree off and you'll notice between these two clips I have a wipe transition and that's just doing that. It's wiping from one to the other. You'll notice a bit of black on the right hand side. You don't see that because that's what the tree is hiding. And when I click on the tree, so you notice I have position keyframes that makes the tree move. It's moving from one side to the other. What I'm trying to emulate here, and the camera isn't moving enough that, that um, it really is true camera movement, but I'm trying to emulate the camera moving from one side to another. And if you're moving from the left to the right, from what I'm looking at here, then a tree would go from my right to the left. It, it's obscuring it that way. I did have to take both clips and physically move, well, the, the front clip here. She is actually moving. So you'll notice that there's two keyframes here in position information. I'm moving her, whoops. I'm moving her from right to left. And I don't have to worry about leaving a black hole if I've moved her too far because the tree is covering it. So there's three things, the tree movement, the woman on the bike, and the next clip and that movement. And if you'll notice, if I turn off the top clip, notice the camera actually does move. See these guys moving here? That's in the clip. It actually, I took advantage of the fact that I, I picked an endpoint where someone was reframing the shot and sweeping the camera along. They're panning it and then they locked on. So I moved, let me go to your way. I moved the woman this way, I moved the tree this way, the camera sweeps this way, and it took me, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes of adding keyframes, moving things around until I got something that actually looked like all three of these are matching together. So a little bit of trial and error, bit of keyframes, bit of movement, and you can create these really cool obscure wipe transitions. They're really dramatic. Don't do overdo them, but they can make a really good, uh, cool impact on your video. Well, thanks to everyone for all of your wonderful support here on Video Revealed. Honestly, we really do appreciate it. We're really happy things are getting off the ground for us here. Uh, if you're new to Video Reveal, please take a moment and subscribe. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then please, there's a, a link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.